Welcome back. I um, have a special video for all of you tuning in. It's something I heard about and I'm interested in. Something I felt the need to bring to you. It is something that has interested me for many years. I'd say since 2017-ish. We have all wanted to do different things in crypto. Many times we are hit with different obstacles some even unforeseen some even unfathomable when when i come across something in someone in crypto that's doing something i would love to present that to you and get your take on it let's go from there so without further ado i would like to introduce scott thompson and y'all also know javier so scott tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing i, I did not break the ice that's that is your honor sir well, I'm a 64-year-old from in Sticks from Oklahoma. I got uh, down here to Texas as fast as I could years ago, and I haven't left yet. I knew about Bitcoin when it was $2 a piece. That's because Cliff High said three things. Buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. I knew about Cliff High since before 911. I followed his advice pretty closely, and the times that I did not follow his advice, those were the <laughs> worst decisions that I ever made. <laughs> I set up an account with Coinbase. I hooked up my and, and I was going to hit the enter button to send two thousand dollars to buy a thousand Bitcoin for two dollars each. And because I didn't understand it, I said to myself, "I'm not going to give them my banking information, no way." And I did not buy the Bitcoin for two dollars a piece. And so, coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? I thought for certain you were going to say that you know you your Coinbase account only uh, awarded you a hundred dollars back in the day. Is it was all that you? As soon as you got approved for the Coinbase account, it's like, oh, okay, great, I'm off to the races. I can invest in crypto and buy crypto. But nowadays, because of that most valuable piece of legislation called the Patriot Act, remember the <laughs> one that they didn't have time to read, but we're going to pass it anyway? Oh. Yeah, we got to pass it to yeah. find out what's in it. Yeah, exactly. Let me ask this. When was the Patriot Act enacted? When did it pass? Can you tell me? But it was after 9-11. I remember they were they were trying to save us from ourselves. That's right. So get this. It was passed, what, maybe 30 days max after 9-1-1? Now, yeah. you can imagine how many pages of legislation is contained in the Patriot Act. 9, how many thousands yeah. of pages? And you're going to tell me and expect me to believe that there's enough lawyers in America that came together and were able to reach an agreement within 30 days for thousands of pages of legislation. It was already written and waiting in the wings and 911 was just an excuse to pass it without reading it because it's an emergency. That's how they get us usually. Now, within the Patriot Act, you have what's called the Bank Secrecy Act. Within the Bank Secrecy Act, you have your anti-money laundering and know your customer protocols and procedures known as AMLKYC. It makes it very difficult to be able to do business freely. You know, there's too many res uh, restrictions and legislation. Uh, you have to jump through too many hoops. And they just make it difficult to even do business. But that's because I believe they want us to become reliant upon the government. You know, wait for your UBI, your universal basic income, and then see if you want to go to work after that, right? No, government's going to take care of me. Uh, give me that money, right? Well, I can tell you this. I don't accept handouts from thieves. So you know, how's that worked out for us? Yeah. Exactly. Well, you're more of a slave now than you ever were, Hobby. I found out about Veritasium on the on basically the last day of the ICO. And boy, we scrambled together and came up with enough Ethereum way back then when it was like, you know, $9 a piece or something stupid. Yep. $3. I mean, I can't remember. I was, I was seven, 7 to $11 a week after the Dow hack. You know, we all scrambled together enough Ethereum to make a purchase of Veritasium. I, I love the idea of the smart contract. Uh, for me, contracts are the basis of everything in my life. You know, not to mention my business, but my you know personal relationships. I tend to look at it that way. I follow the advice and the adage that everything you say and everything you do in life is an offer of contract. 
It's that simple. I don't need anything else, but don't expect anything else either because that's the way it is. That's reality right there. Well, that tells me commercial law rules, you know, contract law. So consequently, I deal with everything based on a contractual basis. You just have to know how to negotiate contracts. They enslave you. Dave, can I elaborate on that for a moment, please, sir? Please. Since everything you say and everything you do in life is an offer of contract, anything you receive from them is an offer of contract. Well, contract law rules. Handle it accordingly. Learn how to negotiate contracts and you'll be fine. That would be, I want to be a fly on the wall for that. Dave, one. I accept Javier's uh, offer. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen no evidence to the contrary, and I believe none exists. Yeah, I've been very impressed with what you've said and how open you are about how you do it. And, and I know this is all about the coin, and it's also about, you know, helping out Reggie right now. But I want you all to go deep in that. I would love to be a fly on the wall. That'll be a hell of a show. First of all, let me say it is not just my idea. This is a combination of a dozen different heads banging together, uh, coming up with this agreed upon layout and design, okay? So you can't, blame just, you can't blame just me for this, okay? And can you uh, elaborate on what the symbolism is, what the yes. meaning of a doll is? All right. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is, of course, this is a silver round. It is not a coin. It is not minted or issued by any government. This is what's known as just a silver round. Now, if you go back to the front, Dave. Okay, so Veritasium is the name of Reggie's company. It's, of course, trademark. And so some of his initial and original ideas uh, as far as the creation of Veritasium was he wanted to create an unbreakable promise to people that you don't have to have a, a third party that you can do business with somebody else directly and yet not know them. So it would be a trustless system based upon smart contracts. By doing so, you can read at the bottom, it says enabling the peer-to-peer -peer economy. Well, a smart contract from me to you, Dave, that pretty much is a peer-to-peer -peer economy. Isn't it? You see the chain underneath the VE, the unbreakable chain. So that logo right there, I also uh, wanted this design to somewhat emulate those brass calling cards of his that he would spin. So I wanted to emulate and, and bring that already known image into reality on a silver round. And I think this achieves that in a very, very effective way. You can see the ridges, the reading on the edge of the coin. That way people won't be able to file it down. You know all about that, Dave. The starburst design on the background gives a very expansive effect visually, I believe. And so it's very crisp, very clean, not cluttered and direct and to the point. Very effective marketing, I believe, promoting, you know, the company called Veritasium. Please go to the back if you can, Dave. Okay. Here you see, once again, the logo right in the middle, the VE. This is known as VE Silver. To the left, you see the scales of balance and equity. So where that just weights and measures are indicated. One ounce, of course, is Troy. There's 31.1 grams per Troy ounce. And it must be at least that, not just that. It must be at least 31.1 grams. A regular ounce has only 28 grams. So when you're dealing with precious metals, you must use the system of Troy. It is already accepted as that without specifically saying it. On the right side of the logo, you have the scientific symbol, AG, for silver. It's just easily red on a round with limited space and the word silver. We didn't want it to clutter, plus we wanted it to kind of balance out versus the scales and the one ounce on the other side. You see also 0.999 underneath there designating the purity of the metal. You could call it fine silver. You could call it pure silver. You can call it 0.999 silver. It's all one and the same. Up at the top, you see a stylized autograph that reads Reggie Middleton, kind of like his logo of his autograph, so to speak. You see above that the word patents with the number and letters US 11196566. If you'll notice the last four digits of that patent number, 6566, are exactly how many of these rounds will be minted in total on this limited edition first strike run. And you can read that below the logo where it says veritasium.com, limited edition first strike one of 6,566. That's all that's going to be made and minted of this first run. Now there's a second patent. US 11895246, that's also issued here in the US. We didn't really have room for the Japanese patents, but we'll get there. We got, we got to walk before we can crawl, right? 
Speaking of walking before we can crawl, I would also like to mention to the viewers, some questions may not be able to be answered. Some things uh, within business are within business and not personal. There are many things going on if you're in tune with Veritasium and Reggie Middleton. So legally, there are certain things that cannot be said here. So just to fill you in. I'm one of those kind of people that has more respect for someone for telling me if there's a question that I may ask. I have more respect for someone just telling me that I would love to answer your question, but unfortunately, legally right now, I can't. We understand if you cannot answer certain questions, but we respect you for saying that you can't answer that question. Dave, if, Dave there's some questions I can't answer for legal aspects, okay? Now it's clear and, and, and totally understandable. We understand that. Uh, I mean, go on, because I'm getting a, I'm getting educated on this pretty little coin that I'm, I've uh, got my eye. I've never seen it this close up. Avi, you misspoke. It is not a coin. It's a round. Oops. See? I'll, I will be stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. At the top, you see the patent numbers. When the patent numbers are implemented into the design of this round, anyone that not only buys one of these rounds, but anyone that even sees the advertising for these rounds has now been placed on constructive notice of the patents. If you infringe, I'm sure that that could be a delicate situation you might not want to go into because you've already been noticed constructively. The smart contracts and some of the advantages of Veritasium are that you will be able, through smart contracts, use his licensed technology and access his patents in regarding stable coins, staking, tokenized assets, swaps, peer-to-peer here lending, but you know, it will have to go through veritation because Reggie has the patents as stated on the top of the coin. You know, you've been noticed a good way to put put out constructive notice. It's important. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, okay. absolutely. Okay. And so consequently with these silver rounds being only 6,566 made, I did not want initially to designate one more valuable or special than the rest of them. That's why it's not number one of 6566. It's one of 6,566. I don't want somebody to say, oh, my number two is worth more than your number three, or my number 10 is worth more than your number 4,267. Mine's better than yours. They're, they're the same. But what I have done is I have guaranteed that I will somehow have verification Application, either by affidavit or statement or video or some sort of proof that the first Veritasium silver round that's produced will be auctioned off. And those bids, the highest bid right now is already over $10,000 for the first one. No. Okay. Say that again. The first Veritasium round, the, the bid for the first one is already over $10,000. $10,000 for one of 6,566? Yes, that, that and not only that, for one ounce. What will happen is, as the first Veritasium silver round is auctioned off for whatever the final bid may be, right? and like I said, right now it stands at over $10,000, it will become probably the most valuable ounce of silver on the planet. In fact, if you don't have enough money, this may very well become unobtainium, wouldn't you say? 10,000 an ounce? Yeah, that's, well, that's no, just, just, unobtainium. Just for the one. Well, for the, for the number one, yeah. Just for the first coin. Yeah, that's for one. Just the, but it is what it first, is. Not any one, just the first one. I'm just, I'm excited that it will be round, no, round. Bertossium round. round. That'll be so valuable. Well, you know, the uh, sales went parabolic on my website. I until, saw that. Until, until it was frozen. Yeah, they froze the website. I'll tell you this, it. Scott. Everybody's very excited. Everyone is excited yeah. that I've shown, that I've told about. And you know what the most important thing is. And you know it's good when people's reaction is. When I said, you know what? There's, there's going to be a silver round out. And I start yeah. talking about the first thing they say is, I want one. I mentioned it to Dave, and he goes, before, let me just explain. Me and you have been good friends. We happen to be fellow Texans. He owes, uh, Scott owes me some barbecue <laughs> later on down the line. But uh, but we've got to be good friends. And every time I travel, I pass by where he, near where he lives or works, and, and, and I stop in. And we've just got to be good friends. I've known each other. He's messaged me, says, hey, I'm watching your show on Hash It Out and need to talk to you. And, and so I called, tried to talk to him. He said, look, we've got this going on with, with Reggie and we need to bring some attention to it. Donations go directly 
to Reggie Middleton's legal defense fund. I do not legal have defense fund. Thank you. I do not accept donations. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I, hang on. Let me finish. These silver rounds are a product for sale. They are licensed, trademarked product. As with any licensed, trademark product you can only imagine there must be a licensing agreement for that to be allowable thank you for clarifying so in other words the purchase of the coin no, none no, of no, those no, no. The round, round. purchase the purchase of the round i just did it not i just wow so so just to be clear for for the audience the purchase of the round is nothing to do with a donation to reggie there was someone else you were referring to for a donation for Reggie, who is handling that totally separate, nothing to do with this whatsoever. This is business. This is business. Strictly business. Donations are a charitable event. I'm not in the charity business. I'm in the for-profit business, okay? Now, what I may make on doing this, yeah, that's my business, but it's already been agreed to by contract. So, whose business is it but mine? The other thing, you hit a record number in short order. Three days. And so, in three days, you hit a certain figure that is just like unheard of. Of they, yeah, the payment processor and also there, there's going to be a right now. It is more important for us to get this information out there to you when things are cleared up or ironed out a little bit for payment processor. I don't know. Maybe you could speak on that. Well, the problem that we had was that the demand was so great. The su success of the launch of the product was beyond imagination. It triggered algorithms on the Wix website. So where they had to throw the flag and freeze the funds while they investigate potential prohibited activity. Now, for me to accept a donation would be a prohibited activity. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. I do not accept donation. Now, you mean you don't know about the third rule? <laughs> Read the rules. <laughs> Refer back to rule number one. Yeah, the one that was passed rule? through Congress in a hurry before they read it because they were in a rush for what? Yeah. What's the third rule, Dave? Duck. No. <laughs> uh, it, you know, the sales went parabolic. The account was frozen due to unusual volume. Well, to me, if I launch a product that is so in demand and, and so coveted and so wanted that sales go parabolic, I don't understand how that can not be beneficial to everybody concerned. Their Wix would be receiving their credit card transaction fee of 3%, wouldn't they? Well, you would think they yeah. would want it to go parabolic. Anyway, I'm not Wix. I'm not going to make that legal determination. All I know is that once you trigger an algorithm, they're going to shut you down. That's just their rules that they must follow so where they are not potentially supporting any type of money laundering or uh, nefarious activity, whether true or not. They care not. So the only thing they do well, we're just going to shut you down, close you off, have a good, you know, goodbye, have a good life. You know, they don't even wish you good luck. They don't care. But that's their business. That's their job. And so I'm not going to hold it against them, although I will say it has certainly created problems on this end, but no problems that cannot be overcome. Time will take care of that. So consequently, anybody who placed an order on my website for a Veritas and Silver Round, their funds will be directly refunded by Wix once they get around to their final determination that they need to close my account, which they basically have already done through freezing the funds. Well, question. Yeah. Have they have issued a, any sort of time frame when you would be able to, or, or is that just a closed door and, and just yeah. you know, whatever well, we decide bank, to look at it? There's a reason it's called the Bank Secrecy Act. Dave. <laughs> 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 and you know what? I had an instance years ago where a checking account was shut down. Uh, the funds were, you know, garnished, confiscated, you know, whatever you want to put it. And I went down to the bank to talk to the vice president about it. He said, because of the Bank Secrecy Act, I don't have to tell you anything. Have a good day. Hmm. And they kept the money. That's the way this government runs. This is what happens when you devolve into a democracy. And there goes the Fourth and Fifth Amendment. Let me say this, Dave. What kind of political, let me ask you this, Dave. What kind of political system do we have? adhere to and operate under in this country at the moment. Can you tell me? No, oh, there's I'm a name for it. That way, there's a, let me ask Dave again. Dave, what's the, what do you call this system of government that we currently operate under in this gov in this country at this time? Can you tell me what it's called? What do you call the system of government that we adhere to and operate under in this country at this time? Crony capitalism? Formal name, Dave. Formally. American capitalism, is, yeah. 
No, America is a republic. You mean it's not a democracy? No. Pledge of allegiance and to the republic for which it stands. Okay, but how many politicians tell you this is a democracy? Every one of them. Even the Republicans. Yeah. Even the Republicans. Now, wait yeah. a minute. They should know the difference. Now, in a democracy, you have no rights. You have merely benefits and privileges. In a republic, you have rights. Not granted by the government, but at birth unalienable rights. In other words, you cannot put a lien against my rights. Consequently, I have the right to work. If I have the right to work, my rights cannot be taxed. It's because you enter into a contract and you contract away your right to work. Typically, when you go to work for a corporation, the name of that contract is a W-2 withholding agreement. When you're what is classified commonly as self-employed, you receive a 1099. Independent contractor. Yeah, but you don't realize that the term self-employed has a special definition in the IRS code, and basically it means that you're an elected public official holding public office. Well, I'm not a registered voter. If I'm not a registered voter, how can I hold public office as an elected public official? If I'm not an elected public official, I'm not self-employed. If I'm not self-employed, why the hell should I pay a self-employment tax that I'm not liable for? I can't wait to see that. That meeting of y'all, that's what I, I hope that one day you and dave have this conversation because i try to explain it to dave my words just mumbo jumbo and he's like javier what what the what? let me say it this way so so far everyone that i have ever known who has fought the irs is now dead whether that be peter schiff's father i used to listen to on coast to coast radio back in the mid 90s also john mcafee then how am i still here dave yeah how is he still here i don't know i do one, that's one right, so that's gonna be for another show but and i want this show i want that show badly I want to stay focused on this because I want yeah. that round was absolutely incredible. I want I want to know as much about it and where we're headed and what what your round. story is on that. Yeah, good. Okay, so the round, as you know, there's only six thousand five hundred and sixty six that will ever be produced in this limited edition first run. That's it. You either get it or you're gonna wish you had one. The first one will be auctioned off. The minimum bid is already over ten thousand dollars. If you want to obtain that first one you're gonna to have to put down some serious change but what if your bid is eclipsed by a higher bid you may not be able to afford the first round and thus it will become unobtainium wouldn't it to the person everybody to but the one that, that purchased it and get this i would say it would be unobtainium riz who you know is working very hard at yeah, i like riz Yes, sir. He's working extremely hard disseminating the story across many media platforms. He has already agreed to contact Guinness World Records to verify that this may very well be the most valuable ounce of silver on the planet. You know, if they yeah. can verify that, then there's your claim, isn't it? So to speak, it's public knowledge. Question. Anyway. Yes. Where, where could someone, where, where is that bid or where, where is the auction or, or where can people go? Find out more for, information on it. Yeah. I would, I would suggest that you contact quantum dash metals dot co dot nz. That's quantum dash metals dot co dot new zealand that is jeremy's website quantum metals is the name of his business he another work, great guy yes he and i are working very closely together because believe it or not dave jeremy also buys and sells bullion he also does cryptos it's amazing that he is he and i are, are literally two sides of the same coin just in dim different hemispheres. You know, we're just working very closely together because we have the same interests, the same business mind, the, the same type of desire and goals. There's not much that he and I are not able to agree upon, you know, when it comes to precious metals and cryptos, okay? There was another question I had for you. Once, once the payment processing is sorted out. It will be. I know it will be because Veritasium Veritas means truth. So yes, truth sir. protocol. And the so, truth will set you free. My, my next question is, where can people, what, once the payment processing is finalized or, or reinstated, what, what, once it's reinstated, where can people, what website can people go to to purchase the coin or to find out more information let on the see, coin? Okay, let me say this. For now. Purchase around. Wish, Just wanted now, to make my correction right there. Purchase around. For now. If you wish to purchase, did I say coin? 
I did. So, Damn you, guys. <laughs> I was just, just so he could remember, I, I wanted to repeat that. This reminds me of Mike Maloney with the difference between money and currency. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's such a tongue twister. And it's like, I, I, I've been through that so many times. I don't know why it just slips off the tongue like that. Because we're programmed and conditioned to use that language because it enslaves us. Welcome to my world. Once the problem is overcome with me accepting processing for credit cards, during the meantime, time, you can still order through Jeremy's website that I just gave you, quantum-metals.co.nz. You can still order from him. It's only my website that was frozen, not his. It's only my website that needs to be corrected. So where this issue is behind us, and that is underway right now as we speak. I assure you that. That was also the importance of us doing the video now because... Any confusion, yes. Right. Once you have shown your papers and permitted to pass, right? <laughs> then give people that information where they can it will be It will be announced and you're going to love the rebranding of my website, I believe. It'll be very direct, very obvious and hard-hitting. You will have no question. It won't be my website. I'll put it that way. And I'm going very to leave cool. it that way. And I'm going to leave it at that. Well, give me some his, more history. I'm, I'm watching this like a movie. Well, <laughs> First time okay. I don't talk as much, so I'm, yeah. I'm really well, enjoying okay. it, people, Scott. You know, people probably appreciate it anyway, you know. Yeah, I think <laughs> <laughs> they do. I guarantee you they will comment on, thank God I'm here wasn't on his, on his oh. two-stroke roaring whatever. I'm but go you. ahead. I'm enjoying this. So once the payment processing issue is resolved and it's being worked on, like I said, right now, it has not completed yet because Wix has not given me their final determination because they have up to 10 days as with any contract, to resolve the contract. Would you agree with that? You got 10 yeah. days. You, you know, you got 10 days to, to finish the contract. 3, 7, 10 day rule. Now, I reached out for the first three days, every day, wanting to know why, what's wrong, what have I done wrong? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Of course, oh, we're, we're working on it. You know, your case is being reviewed by our legal team or, you know, our off-site review board, which means a bunch of lawyers and compliance officers. And I guarantee you that they are going to wind up not allowing me access to the funds, but Wix is going to demand that I pay 3% on nearly $40,000. And then they will release the funds back to the customers for a full refund. It will not cost the customers anything. They're not going to lose a penny. I've already been through this. I know how it works. And so I'm not worried about the customers being made whole. Now, yes, there is going to be the inconvenience of having to reorder if you still believe in the project. Whether you do or not, I guess we'll see. I'm moving on without you. Well, you can put me down for one. I, I definitely yeah. want a coin. Just not the well, first one. Right? Yeah, everybody I talk no, to. Is, I, I just, just one. I, I don't. Hey, I, I don't... hey, you said you wanted one. What's your high bid, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no. My high bid for one for the number one. My high bid is I, I will hug him and squeeze him and pet him and name him George. <laughs> well, well, let me tell you what. If you don't, yeah. if you don't in different in different times, he would have probably been in the bidding, but uh, right now, and I would have too. Right now, I think we're all in that crunch. I think Dave's so busy with his house right now, and and we're all busy with these projects. But yeah, I would to own that one would be absolutely incredible. Well, for me, I, it's the significance of a few things. Of Veritasium, it, the to own a round of that. I was there for the ICO. I could not figure out the ICO. It was three weeks. The first week, it was at $2. The second week was $4. Third week was $6 for the Veri token in ICO. And there was something weird with like to send Bitcoin for the fundraising or crowdfunding or the ICO basically. And to after I couldn't figure out that and then tied with an Ethereum address signing a transaction. It 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 it, it was um it was too early back then for me. I mean, it was 2017. I was just doing the MyEther wallet and I was, you know, importing decimals and 
and importing the the ticker symbol and all of this kind of stuff and then uh the contract address and all just to generate the ticker symbol and all to get everything over and finalized and then to claim it from the from this and that it was it was a lot of rigmarole so what i did at that time was like the week after the ico i i was buying I, and i i was buying all well i was buying all that i could mm. off of ether ether delta back then before fork delta so i mean i've been holding very since the very week after delta. the ico and I, I hold one or two you know i picked up another one or two after the bad bear market and everything else when when uh the alphabet soup went after reggie you know even though it was working in the jamaican stock market it, it actually was functioning and it was actually solving fraud and abuse and manipulation and the most corrupt stock exchange globally. I think that there's a lot more there there for Veritasium in the future. I, I would love to see other things happen, mainly like, well, that's a different subject, but I'll go there for a brief moment, mainly with their CBDCs and all of this kind of stuff. And that actually does infringe on Reggie's patent and why it, is it law? And code is law within code, but code is not law. Law is law. The, the reason that I wanted to become involved in somehow helping not only Reggie on a personal basis, but Veritasium on a professional basis was that I know after 45 or 43 years, I guess 45, whatever, but I've lost count of being successfully what's known as self-unemployed. I know that cash flow is what drives the success of a business. I know that cash flow cures what ails any business. And so I just felt that Veritasium and my extension, Reggie, need positive cash flow. Everybody else is thinking of ways to somehow contribute and do what they can. And since I've been a jeweler and a watchmaker for 43 years, I've done minting before. I've been selling bullion since before Y2K. I could only offer my services to help actually bring the Veritasium silver round into existence and then help drive the marketing, the sales, the production, and ultimately the delivery, you know, through shipping. That's what this is all about is trying to improve cash flow. It's been a lot of work, but it's been rewarding. Yes, this is great. I'm excited about it. I, I think the community is excited. Obviously, I mean, it's not out there as much as it could be it's basically our telegram group that's aware and then we're starting to reach other people but i, I can't imagine how fast this is going to go when it goes because how many people I, I know people that were in when i got in early in 17 i didn't get in the ico but i got in i got in pretty good in 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 17 and, and it just bought it left it have it just sitting there and once you get that excitement, the excitement's in our community right now because of we're going to obtain a goal. But once the rest of the people that own it have it, have a few, what a nice little. What a nice piece of history. Yeah. yeah. It's actually going to be part of history. And if it goes up like Cliff High says, uh, yeah. You're, you're good. And what an investment. I mean, if it goes up as Cliff High says, then, you know, it's. It will be the rarity of that coin. Here's 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 another thought, right? So, like for myself, I, I'm not under any sort of NDA whatsoever. So I'm just going to speak freely from what I interpret. Again, I'm not an attorney, but this is the way that I perceive it. So, uh, like with the patent, in my opinion, it involves anything beyond a layer one is the first thing. Second thing is anything that is the transfer of value through a smart contract, be it a NFT. And that's where what I want to do with Reggie's patent or something. I spoke to Reggie on it a while back, but I've been, I've been slammed with renovations on rental property and all this, but either way. So knowing that the trans think about the transfer of value through a smart contract and what all that encompasses today on coin market cap. And then think about that same transfer with these other custodians 
whether that be Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, whomever. BlackRock. Whomever. Because, you know, everyone seems to be into this copyright and trademark. No one is even looking at patent law. They will. Oh, I, I know they will. And it's already been cited many times in court as evidence further backing Reggie, in, in my opinion. But I'm not an attorney, but that's my interpretation. It's been cited in court and legally on other major corporations. I'm not talking, you know, Joe's hamburgers. You know, I, I, I'm talking, I, I mean, what, what was the Coinbase suit? $1.3 billion? I mean. Yeah, they're getting off cheap at that. But but think yeah. of the transfer of value through a smart contract. And then think of everything beyond a layer one. And what else is there left? I think we're about to have a back to basics moment in crypto. Based upon patents. Reggie's patent number 566 has been cited how many times? Can you help me, Javier? Yeah. What? It's a hundred and sixty. Yeah, it's a lot. And, but, uh, you know, the quality of the people, IBM, uh, these, uh, and I, don't quote me on these, but I've read it 16 times. I don't remember very much. But the patents, I mean, they are big people, the big banks. And so they, they know about it. They're aware. I know N-Chain has cited it quite a few times. Hey, think about this. Reggie's patent 566 is what is known as a foundational patent. It has actually, just for example, been cited well over 160 times. I'm not going to yeah. try to quote the exact number, but I know it's at least 163 or something like that. And growing. Coinbase has three patents that I'm aware of that actually cite Reggie's patent 566 as yeah. being foundational to their own. Now, hang on a second. Follow this line of thought. If their patents, their three patents that you know they would enforce, right? If, if their three patents cite Reggie's as foundational to their very own, in other words, their patents would not even exist without Reggie's in existence prior. Yeah. Okay. Now, they want their patents honored. Why will they not honor Reggie's? Because it means they have to pay up. Now, you look at the kind of people running coinbase blackrock yeah. think of you know what scott think of, well, here's think one of the things, things and reggie is go ahead finish here. well jp morgan chase yes. goldman sure. sachs the exchanges coinbase think of the kind of people that control those corporations now i'm not going to go yeah. into specifics but open your mind open your eyes and realize sure. what you're dealing with okay these people yeah. want all the money and they want to pay none. That is the way they operate. Now, where I come from in Oklahoma, we call them thieves. I understand it, and and and, and what Reggie's asking, he's not taking. Look for the secret people that are watching this or going to watch this in the future. The man has offered you an opportunity for some of the first people that go in and speak to him. It behooves you sit down and talk. He's a reasonable mm -hmm. man. Enter into a licensing agreement would be the correct phrase, I believe. Yeah, I, I'm not the big word guy, but but okay. put it this Work way: it. it's understanding that that he's he's offering you something that would help you, and this is the hot potato. All of a sudden, there are no chairs, and if you didn't get it, if you weren't the one that got, you didn't win. So now you're going to go into a, because you took it in a little later. Um, I don't know. I, I would think it would behoove them to get into it, but you know. To, to me, it seems like a case of, you know what? If you will quit stealing from me and recognize my patent that you're using well, how, without permission, without licensing agreement, if you'll just quit stealing from me, I'll cut you a good deal. But just quit stealing from me. I, I would like to add here is that a, sort of like the misconception of back in the day where in crypto, everything coming out is... You know, oh, it's a security. It's going to be a security. That doesn't mean that it's going to zero. If if something is labeled a security in my mind, to me, that gives more validity to it. Because, I mean, Apple is a security. Tesla is a security. Netflix is a security. All of these different assets and equities are all securities. All of them. Being labeled a security, to me, is not a bad thing. However, a lot of people don't get past the first page. A lot of people don't even realize that it was never a conviction. It was a settlement. And I understand a lot of the low IQ coming up and, and saying innocent until proven guilty. That's great. 
Okay, but you've never gone up against the alphabet soup. Do you have a two hundred million dollar slush fund on the side for a legal fund? I yeah, mean, well, that, I mean, that, that, we we can open up a other. can of worms here, Dave, and Dave, I would love to. Dave, this is my weapon of choice. The pen. The pen is mine to your. Oh, uh, I agree. I didn't know how bad Reggie had it. I I listened to everything Reggie's ever put out three and four times everything that's going on. And this is, don't quote me on it, but for people to have started to use their patent right after whatever, losing or his trial, immediately, I mean, just do your little homework. And when you start seeing, why is somebody after such a small fish? There are very few coins. If he is what he is, it should have gone away. But they sure the hell don't let that one go. So after not a conviction, a settlement, the, the other thing that most people don't realize, like the security, it's, it's, it, it's you know, damned at that point. No, it's not. People are, are not understanding that this, because someone does infringe, that doesn't mean that that is the death of this and and he, he's going to own this and own that and all. Yes, it is infrastructure. OK, but the, my, my thing is, is that it's the cost of doing business. It's a business deal. Look at everything. I mean, from this little machine that tests my glucose, which I need to check anyway, I'm 221 coming down. How many patents are in that that talk to my doctor? How many I mean, just 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 this. Yeah. So many- so so all of those different patents that go back and forth to one another are business deals. It, it's um, it, it, it's the cost of doing business. Who else was here in 2013, even, even contemplating this? Reggie said he passed on it for a couple of two or three years before he got involved. So, yeah. you know, we all come around in time, I guess. That was the other big thing I wanted to stress to people is that it is a business deal. It's, it, it is a, an, a licensing agreement your words. So if you do want to do something in crypto, if you want to build in crypto, like I said, anything beyond a layer one or the transfer of value through a smart contract, I think it would actually benefit those people to just reach out to Reggie and say, you know, again, I'm not an attorney. This is what I'm thinking of doing. And I don't know if it infringes on your patent, which I think my idea would. In fact, I know it would. Right. So the transfer of value through a smart contract is an NFT. So the NFT is a claim check, a claim check for whatever it is that you are awarded or or granted, like different tiers of Patreon or different tiers of Netflix or whatever it may be. You know, that NFT grants you access or ownership or proof of ownership. And that's where I'm wanting to be building something, but not building NFTs with dogs and frogs and all of this kind of stuff. I, I could care less, honestly. It was needed to work out a lot of kinks and advance the protocol. I, I give you that and the code, but the actual use case yeah. of an NFT. You mean you're not a bored ape from a yacht club? No. No. He's just an ape. Oh. Just an ape. <laughs> We'll call him Peppy. How's that? Got no board to it. And I don't want to deter from your your section, Scott, because we can go into it. I, I I can't wait till one of these times. I know that even Dave has said that. Actually, he said that to me earlier. He says, I still have a lot of questions for Reggie. This isn't the time. He he realizes the importance of bringing attention to his cause. And, and bringing attention to yours is something that he really likes. It Look, both of us are very holders we hold very we believe in the man doesn't mean that we won't ask people questions doesn't mean that we wouldn't want to know more and i put it this way i know that reggie couldn't defend himself we understand that he would not be able to speak but i would love to see some of these conversations with some of the people that we get together you know stake and and dave and, and westwood some of the, I, I just want to be the fly on the wall hey dave you know Reggie sued Coinbase. His lawyer died, so he had to uh, have a stay in the case. During that time, Coinbase went to the United States Patent Office and initiated what's called an intra partes review. And basically, they told Coinbase, you got nothing, boys, so go pound sand. Then they appealed that decision, 
And the patent review board's like, we told you before, we don't want to hear it. You're wasting our time. Now that actually strengthens the patents even more. Well, not only that, they hired a thousand attorneys. Yeah. And not one of them could find a loophole. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. All of this is going to come to pass. It just takes time. You know, not everybody is willing to play fairly right off the bat. Sometimes you have to show them the bat before they decide to not steal second base, right? Okay, so this is kind of what's going on, euphemistically speaking. Again, you know, I'm not making legal determinations or representing anybody. I'm just giving you my honest opinion about stuff as anybody's allowed to. Right or wrong, I don't want to misspeak. If I have, you know, you're going to have to forgive me in advance. What's going on, though, is with the Veritas and Silver Rounds coming up now, being produced, going to be sold, and they, I think they are going to sell out very quickly. Jeremy is still taking orders. You can still order them right now. My website has been uh, pretty much frozen. That's not going to stop what's going on. We'll just come back tighter and better. You've heard build back better, right? <laughs> yeah, well, we're yeah. fixing to show you what that means, okay? It's not going to be some communistic dogma and propaganda. It's just going to be the way it is. It's going to happen. And yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it because I have a passion about working with the precious metals, dealing in bullion. I like creating things, designing things, working with people that have the same desires. It's a very invigorating and pleasurable experience uh, being able to work with some of the other Veritans that have skills that I could never, ever even shine a light on. And I do, I rely upon them and, and they do what they have to do. And of course, there's no discussion of, well, you owe me this or I did this and you owe me this. And, you know, it's just, I thank you so much for what you've done. And they're like, don't worry about it. I'm glad to do it. Now, what are we going to do? Now, what do we need to do? Now, what do we have to do? And guess what? It gets done because of people yeah. with that mindset working together. And I find a lot of them in the Veritasium group. And so, yeah, I'm proud to be there. I'm happy to be here. I don't have all the answers. Sure, I have more questions too, but I do know this. I'm focused on making the Veritasium silver rounds as quickly as possible. That project is not going to stop. It's going to continue. It's going to be better as we move along. We're going to make improvements. Yeah, sure, we've made a few mistakes, but those will be overcome just like any other obstacles concerning Veritasium and Reggie. He will overcome all these obstacles. He may not be able to do it himself, but you know what? He's got an army behind him now. What good feeling for that for him to realize. I mean, I know he's a proud man, and and but Jesus, I, I said it in, in the Telegram group. How nice is it to look back and go, first of all, to look back and look at all the loyal holders. And I, I don't want to misspeak, but I think 90% of us that have purchased don't sell. There's a few people that are trying to manipulate that market. I put it this way. If somebody wanted mine, we ain't there yet. We ain't close to being there yet. I bought two tokens and it doubled in price. That's just a big old game for them to play. There's not much out there. David kind of explained that to me. I realize the, 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 the value, but it's also the integrity of the man. And what a good support. Just a shout out to the Veritans that are in the Telegram group. I mean, we beat each other up. We disagree sometimes. There may be some idiots in there that aren't even a part of our group. But most of us, the loyalty that we have and the commitment and understanding that we have toward Reggie and towards us, the right, doing the right thing. It's got to be, you know, uplifting for Reggie if he didn't know. I think he did, but he knows it now. It's really proven to yeah, see the, the comments, people step up as much the as they have. comments have I've gotten personally from other people in the Veritasium community have been nothing but positive. Even making a mistake or two, their, their support is still there. They want this to succeed. They're going to do what they know they have to to succeed. They support Reggie. They're supporting the Silver Project. I can't stop now. I'm not going to. Barry was a very important coin at one particular time. During that time, everybody wanted Reggie's ear to speak, and he was very polite. He, he obtained. Let them know how people can help Reggie's cause. The Veritasian army is coming 
not only stopped, the goal will be reached. All obstacles will be overcome. I but get, don't I give up. That's don't right. give up for y'all that are listening. That's right. It's going to happen. I'm glad. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Look at, you know, I look around and I haven't met. I've only met you and I've, I've met a few people. Of course, Lisa. And I don't think I've met anybody else from the, but I could just tell from the group that they got the good hearts. And even when I misspeak or basically write something down wrong, the defense for Reggie and the defense for Barry is there. And understandably so. And it's a great feeling to know that, dude, our community is, is balls, I guess. Like, it was the only tight. thing I can say right now. Yeah, incredibly strong. Working together, we are just merely proving the fact that when many people of like mind come together, there's no obstacle that cannot be overcome. It just takes determination, yeah. some creative thinking sometimes. But more than anything, it takes action. And it takes action on an individual level. Because we're not a formal group. We're just a bunch of, of vagabonds that come together and make shit happen. Okay? I've seen it. Yeah. I'm part of it. I'm so proud to be able to say that. But, yeah, I think my job is just beginning. Just so people know, this is a time for a lot of scams. So be careful. Do your don't due diligence. The good thing about our community is we've been there for a while. The, the, the Telegram group has been there. We protect each other. And it's hard to convince some people with diamond hands that, have, that aren't in it just to try to turn them. Dude, who, who's selling? None of us. Are, we already know the game. We, we know the game. And, and so uh, I, nobody, everybody's holding on because we know what we hold. There's a difference. I think Reggie says it quite a bit. There's a difference between price and value and understanding that. For anybody outside the community that hasn't heard it before, really think about it and do your due diligence on that. And then you'll start understanding what, I don't know what this world's all about, I guess. Didn't you catch it earlier when I said the first VE silver round will be the most valuable on the planet? I did not, say the, most, I did not say the most expensive. No, exactly. There will only exactly. be one silver round that was the first one. Only one. Now, whether you can afford it or not, depending on how expensive you think it is, don't let that overshadow yeah. the knowledge of how valuable it is and will be. We have a good friend that use, uses this scenario a lot. He goes, what's a bottle of water worth in the desert if you're dying of thirst? That's right. That's when you understand value and not price. That's right. This project is not going to stop. It, it could nearly go on by itself now because of the demand. Even if I wasn't trying to make this happen as best I can, there'd be somebody else step up, step in and keep it going because this is a viable way to generate positive cash flow, get the name out there, promote it, advertising all in the same time, constructive notice, of course, which is, I think, a great, yeah. a great way to be able to go back later and say, well, uh, did you ever see this uh, advertisement right here, sir? Yeah, I did. Can you tell me what it says up at the top? Yeah, patent number US1119666. You could always ask, well, were you not noticed at that moment of this patent? Well, uh, Scott, we definitely would. You, I mean, when can we get this coin? And, and, and when you do, uh, even uh, a week uh, from uh, now. Stop that coin. I'm, so, I'm sorry. No coin uh, round. The round is still available for sale right now at Jeremy's website, quantum-metals.co.nz. They're one fifty a piece. As silver goes up well, in well. price, as silver goes up in price, so will, of course, the price of these rounds. It has to naturally. This price of one fifty was based upon thirty dollar an ounce silver. If silver's thirty one, this round's going to be one fifty one. If silver's 32, this round's going to be 152. But with that sliding scale tied to the volatile and fluctuating silver spot price, that helps insulate us against potential catastrophic price increases. You know, if Cliff, sure. Cliff, is, right, if Cliff is correct and we go from $1 to 2 to 3 to 5 to 8 to yes. 13 
to 21 a day, according to the Fibonacci sequence. Pretty soon, like he said, you know, silver could hit 600 an ounce, but you're not going to like the rest of the world very much. I'm just, so now that this community knows it's out there through Jeremy, like I said, I have to hear it 16 times before it sinks into this head, but uh, I, it, I'm glad to know that. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. Hell, it's a beautiful representation of truth. So my biggest applause to you and and knowing how much I know every time I try to see you lately, you've been extremely busy. I, I drive back and forth from one place to the other, but I hope to see you. I hope to have that big barbecue you were talking about one day, maybe with not only that, but some of the other Veritans. So, so people can understand the real, what a real barbecue is and not that stuff that they sell in Kansas. <laughs> Just joking for people in Kansas, uh, giving y'all a hard time. But gosh, I can't wait for that day that to meet more Veritans eye to eye. Eyes are a window to to people's soul. I knew who you were, Scott, when I when I first met you. You looked me dead in the eye. I look, I, I don't know if that's an age thing or or hopefully that's something that where we recognize who we are without having to say where we can come to agreements without sometimes even having paper. And and that's a good feeling. All things are possible through proper negotiations. All contracts must be equitable for both parties. Why would you enter into a contract that's no good for you? Well, exactly. And that's where we understand value. Yeah. What is value to you may not be value to me. It doesn't mean that it's... A, I hope Reggie give, gives his schooling lessons again because he was very thorough on explaining the difference and most people don't understand. Once you do, then you will find out what kind of shenanigans have been going on by people in very high places to control certain markets. I hope I'm just, I'm trying to be as careful as I can. Price is what you read on a sticker. Value is what you perceive. Yeah. And you can't exactly. put a price, you can't put a price on value. They're not the same thing. Until, exactly. This, so, that dog I bring over to your place all the time, that coyote looking thing, I'm having a sale on them right now. So whoever wants a, it ain't gonna cost you more than a buck or two. No, he's with me. He's right there with me. So. Yeah, great dog. Great dog. With this silver project, Dave, all I can say is you're either going to be a part of it or you're just going to wish you were later. Are you going to stand up and take part and take action? Or are you going to say later, you know, I remember way back when I, I could have, I would have, I should have, but I didn't. And a fair warning. In four days, basically forty, forty thousand dollars. I don't know, thirty, forty, th whichever it was, it went that quick. There's only so many. You do the math. We're doing what we can. There have been some obstacles that had to be overcome. That's not an issue. Time will cure all that ails us. We're just going to come back again. It's not going to. You're not going to stop us. You might slow us down a little bit. We might trip on our own. You know, I step on my tongue probably or talk too much. But you know what? As long as we're moving forward and we reach the goal of our privacy restored, our financial independence restored, our security, not that it ever exists, but our sense of security, our liberty. What are you willing to fight for? What do you want? Freedom. Agreed. I accept your offer. And my unalienable rights unalienable <laughs> if i said that right i'm sure i'd mess that up in other words my my rights i want the right to just be left alone all, live all my the, life defend myself the, and have all of the rights that you claim and want to cherish they are all based upon your financial freedom very well put i can't well, wait to see y'all's hey, next interview i've only got one question then javi got silver <laughs> Yeah, got silver. Got exactly. V e, got VE silver? Do you have assets? I understand value. And so, Dave, all I can tell you is, you know, we're going to make this work. It's going to be successful. There's no doubt in my mind. It's just a matter of time. The time is now. It's here. It's available. Now, it's not the easiest thing to get, kind of like the Veritasium tokens. There's only one outlet right now in the entire world for these Veritasium silver rounds, and that is Jeremy's website in New Zealand. Mine will be up and running again very, very quickly. It will not be B 
Bitcoin and bullion dot shop anymore. I am not going to reveal the new website as yet because it's still in the works, so to speak. I can't speak any more about it, but it's going to be what I believe to be a perfect name for this project. It'll be announced later. How's that? I want to shout out to Reggie and we do a little show. We don't have a lot of people following us, but we are a group of people. Basically, it's a setting in the bar where we just talk what we personally think is going on in the crypto economy with no interest of having anything to sell anything. It's called Let's Hash It Out. We do it every Thursday. You're always welcome. Your mind's always welcome because a lot of the things that you have spoken about out. I know these other smart guys mention all the time, and I just want to leave that as an open invitation. I know that I think uh, Blind Dave would always agree that we've had some interesting people on, and, and you would be a person that could really elaborate whenever you do have time, or if you want to, just send uh, me or Dave a DM. Great. And you too, Scott. We enjoy it. We enjoy it. We just battle it out. Let, let me give a shout out, if you don't mind. First of all, none of this would be possible without Reggie. First of all, I think we all agree and understand on that fact. Second, Reggie's support comes from different people across the spectrum around the world. There are some people who have a little bit more access to Reggie than the rest of the world, but he is a private man. He doesn't have time. I promise you that, okay? Those people that are, you know, you could say in the Dow or with the Dow or what used to be the Dow, you know, however you want to put it, you know, these people are giving their best advice at all times. They are dedicating their time and their treasure to making this work and happen for everybody. But let me tell you something. Now you give an applause for the Army, for the people facing chat room that are making the donations, that are, you know, purchasing the silver rounds, that are pledging their time and especially their treasure at this most important moment to help Reggie and Veritasium and the VE silver rounds all be successful at the same time it's not easy and again i guarantee you the people that are in the chat are the backbone even some of them may not realize it yet but i tell you what it's coming and they're here good luck trying to stop them do not hesitate yeah. to reach out to me if you need something or have an idea or you want to do something just reach out Dave, I'm self-unemployed. I come and go like the wind. I do what I want to. Right with you, brother. Yeah. Okay. And so when you have something that you need to address or want to or need a, a fill-in on short notice, give me a call. Right on. We'll no do. problem. And I, I, I do want to second that and invite you back. Let's hash it out as well as another interview on different things that you're doing, other things with Veritasium, other people within Veritasium who want a voice, who want a place to speak, to get this information out there. Because a lot of these people in crypto today were not here in 2017. They they didn't live through all of this. They didn't. Now it's cat with hat. And I, I'm just like, this This is nonsense. I mean, look, if you, if you made a buck, look, good on you. But that's not why most of us are in crypto anymore. I mean, look, when I began in crypto, it, it began for me as how can I, because being disabled, I could only have gold, silver, or cash under the mattress. Because being disabled on disability and Medicare, I cannot have more than $2,000 in any account combined. And so when I found crypto, or all the metals people or back then were talk speaking so badly of Bitcoin. So I wanted to go in and find out well, what the hell are they even talking about? And the more I dug in, the more I was hooked. I'm like, this actually makes sense. So it, it's like, and no one else is aware of this. Look, this is the next system. We're a part of this. And Veritasium is the foundation to that new system that's underway, being built as we speak. It's being implemented as we speak. You cannot stop it. It may be delayed a little bit, but it's coming. In fact, it's here. Just maybe not as publicized as it needs to be yet. Once the patent issue is resolved, people start finally honoring the patents that they're using anyway and paying their fair share as any honorable entity should. Then you're going to see a snowball effect and things will move quickly. You know, you got to sometimes knock on the doors, right, to open them. Well, sometimes you got to kick them down. When people come together, results can be made that are quite satisfying and dramatic. It's impossible for one man to do all this 
just by himself. That's why, you know, even Reggie Middleton is just one man. He needs other people just like us to support him, to put the word out there and to help him at every turn with your time and treasure. Because let me tell you something, if you think he has not given, not only, I don't see how he's still got any time, but not only has he given so much of his time, he has given all of his treasure. Time for people to step up, think about that, act accordingly, do what you can, and help push this initiative over the, the goal line of, of the immediate needs, but also into the future. You know, just continue to support prayers and do what you can. That's it. You know, what else What else is there? Great show, guys. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to listening to it again and seeing what the community has to say about it. And just, you know, this is a touchy subject. I am not a representative of Reggie. I'm not a spokesman for Reggie. You know, I don't have his authority or permission to speak for him, nor will I. But I can Neither, speak. None of us do. That, that's right. My position is a little more, not precarious, but... Um, involved. Yeah, involved. And I, I must be very careful. So if you have any questions, you know, please let me know. So where that uh, clarity can be restored. Will do. And any questions, y'all please post them down below in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments, hit us up. Where can they uh, find you or get in touch with you if if they want to know more or maybe have you on their show to, to get this information out there a little more? Well, Javier is my agent. And until then, I'm unfindable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, you're in trouble, dude. You are in big, big trouble. Well, then you're fine. Uh, yeah, he wants to. Oh, he's, he, wait, he's. He's, he's, yeah, you're, you're screwed, dude. You're, you're, yeah, well, you're, you're screwed. Fired. How's that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm not the guy for that, but yeah. One last thing. You know, I want everybody to understand this is not about me. This is about Reggie, his needs right now. This is about the Veritasium Silver Rounds as a, a way that I know that I can help increase cash flow to Veritasium and Reggie through a legal, legitimate means by contract. That contract would be called a licensing agreement because this is trademarked and licensed product. I hope you like it. I hope you support it. To you and your team. Incredible. Well, Great job. I did not do this by myself. I, in fact, remember, in closing, everything you say and everything you do in life is an offer of contract. <laughs> Dave, do you know why lawyers are buried 10 feet down instead of just six? No. Because deep down, they're really good people. Louisiana has the best uh, laws and politicians money can buy. That's right. You know, and, 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 and you know, a, a little thing about Napoleonic law that I think Reggie would really like would be what's the difference between a lawyer and a catfish? None. They're both bottom feeders. I got to scoot. I got to catch you off and let you go. But Dave, thank you for your time and this opportunity. Javi, as always, I love you, man. Just yeah, I love you, you too, brother. I know. Absolutely, I know. man. Enjoy. Okay, Dave, I'm beginning to love you, baby. So just be patient, okay? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I tend to have that effect. You know, I know. Just, me too. <laughs> you know, I got to go. Guys, it's been great.